on today's video i'm actually gonna guide you through how to super archer clone the double poison towers on different style of bases with also different style of double poison towers first base right here you can already see what is going on with this look at that this is one of probably the hardest bases I had to hit and that's simply because the way the towers are, they are behind the town hall, so on one side, okay don't worry we're gonna have all the kind of town um, poison towers. And then the CC which is on the front side, that's where exactly a lot of people would have to land because of the titan, you cannot go and land on the other side anyway because of the poison towers. But this side that you want to go with the blimp, well look at the sweepers. They are exactly that side. This is a hard like choice with the blimp, but that's what makes this video so interesting because I wanted to bring it for you to see exactly how everything work out and how you can actually get a lot of value still with your archers. It wouldn't be as much as, for example, well, let's say double rage or double invisibility, but it is what it is. We're going in from a side angle that we get pushed really late by the second sweeper so we can land on the other side of the wall, make these buildings invisible so the clan castle goes forward and then look at that invisibility. This is where your archers can never target the CC because these two buildings are uninvisible and visible for the second of you know your spell deployment but of course now it just locks onto the tower time because it's too close with the warden like the ring is not far you've seen sometimes the ring bases you need to go super far we didn't go far that's why the archers target the cc they're right next to them they didn't move now making that builder hut invisible was a good call because the the archers went for the bomb tower straight going for the town hall and you can see already that wall break will open up that wall and you need to drop it really like I wouldn't say drop the invisibility early but usually when you're doing a super archer attack you don't need the invisibility early drops but on ring bases sometimes if you're landing on the outside make sure you're always invisible kind of early and rage also so your wall breakers can open that wall for example as you see and your, your archers can go in so we're going to continue the attack not to just leave the replay because why not man and then i send my royal champion because you can see the tesla form will pop up here and my queen will get targeted by the monolith so that was a good call by sending Sending the RC so the Diggy can help out. Also, I send a few barbs, headhunters to pull this poison tower nicely from the other side as well. And well, Titan in front of Queen, really nice combination. I still have the King of Funneling this mortar so he doesn't come outside. And well, just watch the rest of the attack, man. That's how you can smash these um, bases with the poison tower. But you might be saying, well. Well, TK, this poison tower was on one side of the town hall. Blimping the other side was easy. Don't worry, next base is where the poison tower is exactly both sides of town hall, where it's really annoying to get close to the core. And I hope you really understand after this video how exactly to blimp, because there's small details a lot of you guys might be missing when you're blimping a double poison tower. That's why a lot of you have commented that it's impossible, it's not, you know, there, it's not on your videos, for example. It's firstly not on my videos because I don't find them, okay? So now it's on these videos, so let's go to the next one. Okay guys, we're on the next one and let me pause this. Look at these poison towers. What on earth, bro? How do you even attack this? Okay, so the good thing about this is the sweeper placement. Wherever the sweeper was even, it doesn't matter too much because the poison towers are covering the town hall really nicely. But guys, always, even if this poison tower is this close to this side, for example, because you can see already, it's not exactly there and there. You can go for that side still, but just make sure the CC, the side you go for, is where the CC is between your warden and the town hall, all right? And look at this blimp going in, once this poison tower, I'm actually going to rewind it to so for you to watch closely. Okay, so let's see this poison tower. Okay, look at this. If once it puts his head up, so something like that you're gonna see. Just look at a poison tower. That's when you can still go inside with the blimp, okay? That one, like a neck movement that it did is where you want to be, you know, kind of going slightly forward and then land the blimp. Don't go too forward, don't be too greedy because the poison will drop on you. If you wait on the second neck, it's gonna be too late by the time you tap 
on your screen and also the blimp fall because the blimp in the sky falling will also count as seconds don't forget that okay so archer is doing amazing job we still landed in the core considering two poison towers and going in from their side that is what is important these poison towers are lower down okay they're not exactly next to the like here and here one tile above so that's how easily you can get it done we're gonna keep watching the attack i have funnel you know the other side of these heroes for the heroes to just go in nicely but because it's a single inferno this is really scary okay it can really damage all your heroes bad if you cannot protect them and oh my god i should have waited for that wall break to target the cannon so heroes have access better but i had to use another wall break is that yeah it's on my queen that's crazy so you're gonna lose the queen ability having queen ability is really nice in the ring bases but because now i don't have a wall break guys look at the top side this is where I drop the Royal Champion. I usually don't drop her until I really need her. A lot of the times I swag her on the you know ring bases. You guys know me already, know what I'm talking about. But here I had to use it with the King ability to go forward. They're gonna take the Poison Tower, so it's gonna be a bit, a bit annoying. That's what annoying about Poison Tower. You can lose a whole King ability to it because the Barbers will die. But it doesn't matter, it's a crushed base. I'm using some barbarians on the lower side to break through the wall, some barbarians and headhunters to tank and also kill the enemy king. These barbs will also tank the monolith forever, so when my heroes are approaching it, we don't have any issues, man. It's simple as that. Hopefully you understood what to do with this type of bases that the, you know, what do you call it? The poison tower is really, really close to you. You can still get in the core, but just be like uh, very accurate with how you drop the blimp. Okay guys, we are in a box base with two poison towers. I really wanted to bring this one, especially because the two poison towers are in the core. And with this strategy, I usually go for the core itself with the super archer. I don't go for the town hall all the time, but on this base, when there is two poison towers in the core, it's a bit harder to attack the core. So you can always go from a side, okay? But you might be saying, well, the side blimp there could be a you know poison tower behind the town hall that's where you cannot use a side blimp okay we're gonna go to that base after this one right now i don't want to show all the attack but let's just see the super archer because i could have landed it only that spot and also maybe slightly exactly to go from the middle because if you go from the side one of the poison towers will hit you early but the other one will wait 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 and when you're in the core it will drop it so every part of this base will be poison except this side well Going from a side, you can easily reach that side anyway. So that's how easily you can get those bases done. But don't worry, we're gonna go to the next one and see what we have. Okay guys, we're on the next base and you all know it, bro. This poison tower is behind the town hall, especially when it's one tile even further than the own town hall itself. It's super annoying because you cannot blimp the town hall. It's the, 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 the poison tower is too far, man. Okay, but what do you do? Well, this is the method I've chosen. Look at this sweeper. I can tank it with three loons and drop the blimp on another side. So I can pull the sweeper once and then the blimp will be in an angle that it doesn't matter too much. It's gonna go forward. Let the first poison tower go off and look at the second one. That neck movement and then drop simple you landed very far you land the blimp super nicely right there just make sure you make everything invisible early sometimes or if there is so many walls like sorry if there's so many walls make everything early uh, like invisible because the wall breaks will help you out and with the archers but if there is no walls don't make stuff invisible because if the poison tower like lock onto one of your wall breakers that is on the outside of the invisibility it can drop the poison so still literally dropping the archers next to a poison tower is one of the highest risk you're gonna get and by the way i didn't want the town hall on this attack so i'm gonna put it on double times just so you know my plan my plan on this style of base is the only queen for the town hall because i usually get one side of this side for example you can see this one has a lot more and even if we didn't get that main defense there it would still be fine but i really like my queen to go for the town hall but you see it it's not going so i'm sending my king so my queen can be here and then roll champion to finish of the rest of the base simple as that it's a simple plan really so we're gonna put it on four times i have another base for you it's a ring style base that is annoying that base is annoying and a lot of you might know it but for the people who don't we're gonna show that replay and see how we can get that one done too with a double poison tower okay so this is it this is it man look at those sweepers look at a cc look at the poisons 
and then look at the bomb towers bro you literally cannot come from a side because if you land on the bomb tower first thing first you might even not be able to because it's too close to the poison tower it's gonna drop but if you even get super close if there's a titan in the cc and it just touches your archer once once it just passes if it passes it's super hard it can probably kill your archers but even if it stays next to your archers for 0 0.5 seconds you are gonna die because the bomb tower damage is too much that the archers can handle it after a titan attack as well so like titan attacking them anyway this is where you want to blimp on this base going in from the side look at that again neck movement and the sweeper can push you but look at how exactly i go i didn't land on the outside i'm gonna go and land on the inside after that first neck movement make things invisible behind the archers but unfortunately on this base my method of making things invisible for the first invisibility and then the next one is not going to work as well because there is no building in this area where i landed look at that i usually say do that first invis like this so you make everything on the back side invisible then the next invis like that with the clone so these buildings that was in the behind side of the back side of the archers can now be visible so they will target them and not the cc but this is why i hate this space i really hate it but still going to work because when the warden is close to where you super archer blimp the cc will always stay in a side that your archers will not follow it that much so the poison tower goes off i had some archers on the you know really far side when i got them cloned so they are gonna get hit but don't worry you're still gonna have the other archers coming back inside the base Gladly we got the other poison tower and this base has no chance of defending us because there is no core left and you all know this strategy man it's too strong so I'm pulling that ice to kill it with my barbs pulling some you know um you know Teslas down here to try to get it with the barbs and also make sure I funnel my king to go inside for that warden tower it's gonna be a tough funnel but make sure you use your barbs I'm using so many barbs on the side to get this base done with because I know it's a triple so I'm just spamming everything in at this point but anyway look at those barbs on the top side on major defenses not major but like actual defenses on the outside you don't need the barbs on normal buildings when you don't have many of them just drop them on the actual defenses themselves so easy attack i mean not easy for a lot of people to obviously you know super ultra blimp for those in um, poison towers but i really do hope this video helps you out a lot and that was it guys for the video i really hope you enjoyed it learned something new today and also let me know down below if you actually want to see me do a whole video on double clone and single clone and what is the difference and why do i choose the single clone on my attacks so that's it for today man i hope you have an absolutely amazing day so far take care and i'll see you in the next one peace